In the 1980s, Hong Kong was growing fast. The old airport, Kai Tak, was struggling to cope as passenger numbers rocketed. And Kai Tak's airport was famous for its perilous approach. Hot jet engine, that's one way to dry your washing. The city needed a new airport, but where? There's just no good free space. The city is squeezed between the mountains on one side and the sea on the other. With space being such a rare and precious commodity, the residents of Hong Kong have long since learned to be very creative with how they use it. But for this project, the engineers came up with a plan that would make even these guys think twice. Engineers looked out to sea. They set about blasting and levelling two islands off the coast of Hong Kong, Chek Lap Kok and Lam Chow. The plan was to join them and create one big island out of the blasted rock. Except the seabed between the islands was soft marine clay up to 20 metres deep. The island needed a firm foundation, so they had to get rid of the clay. All of it. Engineers called in the world's largest fleet of dredger ships to suck it all up. The engineers had a stable base on which to build. And by 1995, the island for Hong Kong's new airport was complete. Just how crazy would you have to be to build one of the world's busiest airports here, right in the middle of the sea and in the heart of a typhoon zone? 工程新典范，超级星期四晚上九点，国家地理频道。